Okay, this is part two of installing Android Studio. So in part one, we uh, hopefully you've downloaded the Android Studio and installed it uh, and accepted the license agreements for that. And now we're going to go through and set up the SDK manager for and make sure we have API 34 installed and then make sure we have a virtual device. So hopefully you're at this point where you now can run Android Studio uh, you probably don't have any projects listed yet because we don't, you yeah, haven't done any, but they'll eventually list your projects here. Um, and you want to go to this dot 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 here for more actions because we're not going, we don't need to create a new project right now. And you might not, yours might not say anything about Flutter yet because you may not have Flutter installed yet, which is okay. Um, so we'll go to more actions and under that, first thing you want to go is the SDK software development package. So we're going to open that up um, and again we want to make sure Android 34 is installed here. So it's not installed on this machine so I'm going to click on that install. Now you really don't need any of the other ones uh, installed. I have uh, older, some older versions of Android installed. Um, you can if you want to install Android 10, uh, use that in some projects, but really you don't need anything. Just click make sure Android API 34 is installed and then hit apply uh, to uh, then you have to accept this and it will download this. Now this will take a little while to download, uh, but it should download. Okay, and once um, SDK 34 is installed, you can just, you know, the bar should be done and you can just hit finished here and that should be done um, for that. Um, we don't just have to do any tools um, that should be installed for you. The emulator should be able to be installed or updates. So you shouldn't have to worry about anything else, uh, just this SDK platform uh, and we want 34. So click OK for that. Um, so that's this uh, Android SDK. Uh, and the other one is the virtual device manager. We'd like to have a Pixel 3 uh, A running with it. It doesn't, it, actually what uh, phone emulator you have doesn't really matter that much, but I think that will be built in. So if you go to your virtual device manager, again, click on the dot, 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 virtual device manager. Um, it should show this. Now, on a couple of my installations, it showed this automatically so that's why I'm leaving it here um, and if it's not here you can create a device for that so you hit create device um, and again you can do any of these uh, the older ones generally I think take up a little less space so this is a pixel 3a uh, the Google St Play Store version of this we'd go next um, and again we've downloaded API 34 so that's the one we want installed on it and you hit next We'd give it some name, uh, again, uh, what? Uh, for this, um, and most of this can just stay the same, and then you did finish, and then that would be here. Uh, you can also test out if these will run, so if you click on one of these, now I have two, um, and I hit play, um, it'll launch uh, the virtual device uh, emulator. Now, right now it's saying this, and that's not good. We don't want, it shouldn't crash like that. Um, so we should want it to open up the emulator. So if you run your emulator and it, it gives that terminated uh, message, there's a couple uh, possible problems. Most common one is you just don't have enough uh, hard drive space. So I checked uh, and again, I have a C and a D drive, and this is installing on my first C drive, which doesn't have that much space. So I only had four gig, four and a half gig left, and you think that'd be enough uh, for an image like this, but uh, running and starting up the device drive it takes up a lot of space. So uh, try to clear out your space on your whatever your primary drive where Android Studio is installed, and doing that. Once I I cleared out, I got it up to about seven gig of free space. Uh, then I ran the emulator again, and it's able to start up. So here's your emulator running. I can actually, it's actually really big here, but you can actually resize this and run. So it should show you a phone on your screen here, uh, and you can run. So that means your emulator is running okay uh, for that. I'm just going to close the emulator now. 
uh, here. So, uh, so yeah, we want this a pixel uh, or some emulator running that you can. Now, a couple other things to watch for uh, if that doesn't work. So I'm going to close Device Manager and go back. Now, if um, here I've already got a project open and I could close the project and get back to that dot window, but I can actually get to these tools right up here through tools and the we're ever modifying this while the project's running, the, they are available under tools. So if I go back to the SDK manager, something to watch is under SDK tools. Some people say if you can't get the emulator running to uh, uninstall and install the emulator. Um, now, different machines have different um, hardware and BIOS settings that will let you run um, these hyper-visual uh, uh, versions of the emulator that runs a little faster. Um, and so if you ha are running your em uh, some other uh, virtual machines and stuff and know that, you could also try to switch to that by default. If, but um, I'm not running this on mine, and so I'm just using this default emulator here. Uh, but again, you can try to click on that and say uh, unclick it and uninstall it and then click it back in and install it, see if that helps. But to me, most often it's the case of um, not just not enough space out there for it. Um, also, um, these Google Play services uh, are, are useful and the USB driver sometimes are useful if you're plugging in uh, actual physical devices to this. So uh, you can also check and see if installing Google Play services and Google USB driver will will help with some of this stuff. So, okay, so hopefully you'll get a uh, software installed and at least one uh, emulated device uh, installed. Let me know if you have any problems with that.